When you're learning React, you'll see tons of examples where developers use the array index as the key when rendering lists. It looks clean, it's simple, and it makes that warning go away. But there is a reason this is considered an anti-pattern. Let me show you how to use index as a key, and more importantly, why it can cause serious problems in your application. Back in VS Code, in the source folder, I'll create a new file called namelist.jsx. Export a simple namelist component that renders a list of names. So export const namelist is equal to an arrow function. We define an array of names, Bruce, Clark, and Diana. We create a list of names by mapping over the array. So const namelist is equal to names.map. We pass in a callback function, and for each name in the array, we can return an h2 tag that renders the name. Since the function body is a one-liner, we can omit the return keyword. In the next line, for the JSX, we will return a div tag that renders name list. Import and use this name list component in app.jsx. Import name list from dot slash name list and within the app component invoke it. Save both the files, check the browser, and you can see we are rendering the list of names, Bruce, Clark, and Diana. If we inspect the DevTools console, we can see that key warning in the console. Each child in a list should have a unique key prop. Now here's the thing. In our name list component, we don't have the nice IDs like before, like we did with our product list. Names is just a simple array of strings. You might think, let me just use the name as the key. So on the h2 element, key is equal to name. Refresh, and this works until you have duplicates. Let me add Bruce again to the list. Now the key isn't unique anymore, and React is not happy. Encountered two children with the same key Bruce. Keys should be unique so that components maintain their identity across updates. This is where the index comes in. The map method gives us access to a second parameter in the callback function, the index, and we can use this as the key. So instead of key is equal to name, key is equal to index. And now, refresh, and the warning disappears. If you render the index, you can clearly see that it starts at zero and increments for each item giving us unique keys. Now you might be tempted to use an items index as the key all the time. In fact, that is what React will use if you don't specify a key at all. But the problem with using index as a key is that the index represents the position, not the item itself. And that can lead to subtle and confusing bugs when the order of the items changes in the list. What better way to show you the problems with using the index as a key than by seeing it in action. I've created a small to-do list demo component inside our project that highlights these issues. Now don't worry about the code itself. It uses a few concepts we haven't covered yet. The focus here is on the behavior you will often see in real-world React apps when the index is used as a key. This component is available on the GitHub repo, so make sure to check it out. I will now include this component in app.jsx. So import to do list from dot slash to do list and right at the top invoke it. Check the browser and you will see the to do list component. At the top, we have four buttons a new item to start, a new item to the end, sort by earliest, and sort by latest. Below that, a table showing the index, which is the position, ID, an input field for each item, and a created timestamp. The key part of the code is here in todolist.jsx. When we render the list of todos, we're using the index as the key. Now, watch what happens. First, I'll add a value of one to the first item's input. Then I'll add a new item to the end of the list. Everything works perfectly. New row appears with index one, ID two. I can type two as the value 
and we see the new timestamp. Let's add another to the end. A new item to the end. Index increments, ID increments. Let's type three. And the timestamp is also correct. So far, so good. But now, I will add a new item to the start of the list. What should happen? The new item should have index zero because it's at the very top. ID is four because it is auto incrementing. An empty input at the top and the latest timestamp. When I click the button, add new to start, the new row has index zero, which is correct. ID four, which is also correct. New timestamp, which is the latest, so that is correct. But the input has a value of one. And if you look at the last item, which had three before, is now empty. Here's what's happening. React is tracking items by their index position, zero, one, and two. When you add to the beginning, the newly added item pushes everything down, so the index of the items change. The new item has index zero, the second has index one, and so on. Now, when React is rendering the updated list, it thinks it already has elements with keys zero, one, and two, and the values are one, two, three. What appears to be different is the item with key is equal to three at the end of the list. So React will add a new item to the end with an empty value. And this problem gets worse with sorting. Let me refresh and start over. I will add three items with values one, two, and three. One, new item, two, new item, three. Each has a different timestamp. Now, when I sort by earliest or latest, watch the timestamps move, but the input values stay in the same positions. Sort by latest, we can see 39, 37, 21, but the values remain one, two, and three. Sort by earliest, 21, 37, 39, one, two, and three. The data is sorted correctly, but the UI is completely wrong because React is tracking by position and not by item. This is why index as a key is an anti-pattern. Now that makes you wonder, why do so many developers still use it? Or is there ever a case where it's actually safe to use index as a key? Yes, only when all these following conditions are true. Your items don't have a unique ID, and if they do, always use that instead. The list is completely static, so you never add or remove items. The list is never reordered or filtered. Think of a navigation menu. Those links probably never change, never get reordered, never get filtered. In that very specific case, index might be okay as the key. And here's a quick tip. If you ever see weird behavior in your lists, like data jumping between items, inputs losing focus or animations glitching, check your keys first. Nine times out of 10, someone used index as a key. All right, that covers rendering lists in React.